What's up you guys, Steve here with a breaking news update regarding the stimulus package as we have now just received moments ago the official word from the Senate parliamentarian who let us know about the stimulus package and the $15 per hour minimum wage included and the path forward now for that package. So now that we've received word, we're seeing articles pop up like this. Senate parliamentarian rules against including the minimum wage in the pandemic relief bill. So you guys, this is going to be taken out. This cannot be included, and we're gonna be discussing what this means and the path forward. Parliamentarian nixes minimum wage hike and pandemic bill. Senate cannot vote on $15 minimum wage. Parliamentarian rules. Top Senate officials disqualifies minimum wage from stimulus plan and Senate parliamentarian rules $15 minimum wage cannot be included in the relief package. So you guys, we're going to be diving into one of these articles. I'm going to get you caught up in the latest details, letting you know what this means for the stimulus package, the provisions included, the schedule, and we're going to be diving into some video footage, a news report that's going to let us know more details. So you guys, I'm going to get you caught up on the latest as to what's unfolding right now regarding this breaking news with the stimulus package. Now, before we dive in though, if you could do me a quick favor, it'll just take a second. If you like and appreciate these video updates, keeping you up to date on the stimulus, Congress, and everything happening with the economy, why don't you go ahead and take a second to smash the like button. I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Like button comments and sharing these videos, it helps me out. Thank you so much. And also, if you're not already part of the Ram Fam, the viewing community, and you would like to stay up to date on everything happening, why don't you go ahead and take a second to smash the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that way as soon as I upload breaking news updates like this, you can get notified right away and be sure to follow me on Instagram as well at steveram3. But you guys, let's go ahead and dive right into this breaking news that's coming out right now regarding the stimulus package and how it's going to be impacting the provisions, the $15 per hour minimum wage, the checks, the unemployment, and the schedule and path forward. So let's go ahead and start off with some video footage and let's dive right in. The Senate parliamentarian ruling that Democrats will not be allowed to include a minimum wage increase in their COVID relief bill. They, of course, had been pushing for $1 to $15. It is a big setback for some Democrats who were hoping to get this increase by using the reconciliation process to get this whole thing through. Manu Raju joins me on the phone. Manu, uh, this is a big blow for many of the progressives who've been pushing for this really hard. Tell me what you're hearing. Yeah, a huge setback because the Democrats have made this a key part of the larger $1.9 trillion COVID relief package. Even Joe Biden, the president, has pushed for the $15 increase in the minimum wage. But what is ruled tonight by the Senate parliamentarian is that this cannot be included as part of the process that Democrats are employing to advance the COVID relief bill. Remember, the, Repu the Democrats are using what's a, a budget process that is aimed at essentially avoiding Republican efforts to block this bill. They're trying to pass it along party lines. And because they're using this budget process to pass the overall $1.9 trillion package, they have to adhere to the very strict rules under the Senate to ensure that no, quote, extraneous measures are added as part of the underlying bill. And what well, was ruled tonight by Elizabeth McDonough, who is essentially the Senate rule keeper. She determines what is allowed and what is not allowed. She determined that it was not allowed to include the minimum wage increase as part of this overall package. So now what does that mean? That means that the House will still move tomorrow to pass the overall $1.9 trillion bill that will include the wage increase, but then it will come over to the Senate where it will essentially be stripped out. And the question will be, what do Democrats do from there? But their options, Aaron, are very, very limited. Almost certainly this will not make it into the final package. And progressives who have been pushing for this hard will have to decide whether or not they can live with everything else in there. Because at the moment, this is not going to survive and almost certainly won't get onto Joe Biden's desk. Aaron. So there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as we've been waiting for this for quite some time. We finally got the results and there you just heard him say that this is not going to be making it to President Joe Biden's desk. Now, just to clarify, he's talking about that $15 minimum wage. Uh, he's not talking about the bill. The bill is still going to be going on to the House. It's going to be voted on and it's going to get passed in the House. But then it's going to be moving on to the Senate where they're going to have to strip that provision out, as we heard him say, because that is not going to pass in the Senate. The Senate parliamentarian has says that it cannot be included in the reconciliation process. And we've already heard from several Democrats saying they are not going to be challenging that. They could take it and try to challenge it and overrule the parliamentarian, but they said they're not going to do that. So they're going to have to pass that provision if they want it included by 
some other means and it's going to have to go through the regular process. So in the Senate, it's going to need 60 votes. That means they're going to have to get 10 Republicans on board. But right now, for this $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan for President Joe Biden, it is not going to be included. Now, they're going to try to push this bill through still through the reconciliation process, but they're going to have to strip that one provision out. So you guys, let's go ahead and dive into an article that just came out moments ago and see what they have to say about it as well. Now, this article says the Senate parliamentarian ruled Thursday that the provision to increase minimum wage to $15 per hour cannot be included in the broader $1.9 trillion relief package. Now, this is why it matters. It says it's now very likely that any increase in the minimum wage will need bipartisan support as the provisions cannot be passed with a simple Senate majority that Democrats are aiming to use for President Biden's rescue plan. Now, the process called reconciliation, that's going to allow the bill and each of the provisions that affect the federal government's finances to be voted on by a 51 majority vote, as opposed to the regular process where they need 60 votes to overcome the filibuster. Now, the provision cannot be merely incidental to the government's finances. According to the statutes known as the Byrd Rule, the interpretation of the vague requirement was up to the parliamentarian, Elizabeth McDonoghue, to decide. And what they're saying is, we are deeply disappointed in the decision, said by Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, saying after Thursday's decision, we are not going to give up the fight to raise the minimum wage to $15 to help millions of struggling American workers and their families. So you guys, they're saying they're still going to try to push this through by other means, but it cannot be included in this current stimulus package. Now, the American people deserve it, and we are committed to making it a reality. So here's what's next. President Biden has promised to support a standalone bill to raise the minimum wage to $15 per hour, but it's unlikely to get any Republican support. So they're going to need to get 10 Republicans in the Senate on board. How are they going to do it? I'm not sure. They might have to negotiate. We've heard a couple Republicans in the Senate suggest dropping it down to $10 an hour. Currently, it's at $750, so bringing it up to $10 or 15, maybe somewhere in between, we'll see. But in order for them to get somebody on board, they're going to need to probably negotiate, bring it down. We'll see what unfolds. Now, the other side, Republicans have introduced their own version of the bill to increase the minimum wage, as we just mentioned. Senator Mitt Romney and Tom Cotton proposed an increase to $10 per hour by 2025. This bill, however, contains a provision that would mandate e-verify for all employers to ensure that the rising wages go to legally authorized workers, which likely would not get any Democratic support. Now, Senator Josh Hawley introduced an alternative to the Democrats' proposal that would use federal dollars to increase low earning workers' incomes. One foreseeable problem, though, the subsidy would disproportionately benefit those in states that have kept their minimum wages low. So there you guys have it. That's the breaking news. Once again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, you guys, they're saying they're going to pull a standalone bill for the $15 per hour minimum wage federal increase. So uh, as soon as that comes out, I'll be sure to let you guys know, and I'll let you know what's going to be unfolding regarding negotiations, as they are going to need to get Republican support to pass that now. They can't use reconciliation through the process. And as I mentioned before, they're going to be having a new bill coming out here very shortly. It's going to be the infrastructure bill, and it's going to add an additional $3 trillion. And they're planning on passing that through reconciliation as well. So they can't include it in that one either, because it's already been determined. It is not at reconciliation reconciliation item. So as soon as that information comes out, I'll be sure to get you guys up to date on that as well. But here's the plan forward, you guys. So starting tomorrow, it's very likely that the House is going to take this up and vote on it and pass it. It'll then go on to the Senate where they're going to strip this out and any other amendments or changes that could be added will take place. Now, once that's done, they're going to go ahead and vote on it in the Senate. And then if it's passed, through the process of reconciliation, 50 Democrats on board, it'll then go on to the president to sign into law. Since it's reconciliation right now, as long as they can pass it with a majority vote in the Senate, they can go ahead and move it along. So I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date. And this is going to pass on here the stimulus checks, the unemployment, all the provisions that are already included in there. And so that means that stimulus checks, as long as they're passed before March 14th, then you should see those first round of direct deposit checks coming out March 21st, March 22nd. Unemployment, it should pick up right after the end date of March 14th. Now, it's going to depend on states when they're going to be able to distribute it, but that is the plan. They're saying it should pick up March 15th and carry out till August 29th. And also, that $300 per week boost, it's going to be modified from $300 and bumped up to $400. Now, it's not going to be retroactive. It's just going to pick up the very next day after the current extension ends and then it's going to carry out till August 29th. But you guys, as more information comes out, like I said, 
I'll be sure to keep you up to date. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you made it this far on this breaking news update, go ahead and smash the like button and I'll be sure to keep you up to date on everything. So take care. God bless. Have a blessed evening. I'll see you tomorrow. This is Steve.